Good morning, students. Welcome to the class. Let us start today's class. So, if you can remember, in the last class, we uh, already started the chapter which is known as the leaf. And before going to today's explanation, I just want to recapitulate what we are explained in the last class. So, if you can remember, in the last class, we discussed about parts of a leaf. And also we started another topic which is known as simple leaf. Today's topic will be related to this one. Right? So just I want to remind you about this topic which was explained in the last class. Leaves are categorized or classified on the basis of incisions. Right? Incision means cut. And what are those categorizations? First one was simple leaf, which is already explained to you. And the next category was compound leaf. So today's our new topic is compound leaf. So let us try to understand what is the meaning of compound leaf. But 
in case of compound leaf, there is another name given to the main reed. So what is it or what is the name of this portion here? It is called as rachis. Okay. This is also midrib but in case of compound leaf, it is called as rachis. Okay. Now these were all about its structure. Now the question is, what are the examples or in which plants compound leaf can be seen? A very common example of tree which can be seen surrounding us is or where we can see the compound leaf is neem. Okay. Now here I am showing you how does compound leaf of neem tree look like. Okay. See. This is compound leaf. Okay. Now I am just trying to show you this is a compound leaf. The whole structure is compound leaf. Right. And see the leaf like parts. These are not actually leaves. So these are leaflets as I have shown you here. Each leaflet structure is called as leaflet. Okay. And what is the name of this midway? Here it will be called as rachis. So these are all about compound leaf. Now I am showing you just to remind you the structure of simple leaf. This is simple leaf. Definitely you know that the lamina is not divided into simple segments. But in case of compound leaf, the whole lamina is divided into simple segments due to presence of deep incisions. As a result, these leaflets are formed. Okay. Thank you everyone. Thank <laughs> you.